Hello and welcome, J&J Toy Giants fanatics, to a brand new J&J Toy Giants toy unboxing. I am your host, JD, and today we're going to be unboxing Series 6 of the Ruthless Aggression WWE Elite Collection, and it's going to be Hollywood Rock, as you can see on the back. Not only do you get Hollywood Rock, but you also get The Miz, the first iteration of The Miz, not as a host, but as a wrestler, and also MVP. Generally, the series normally has at least three wrestlers per series. The very first one that I have was the Shawn Michaels, Ruthless Aggression Shawn Michaels, uh, which was depicted right after WrestleMania 21 that he wrestled Kurt Angle. Now, of course, this particular Hollywood Rock is uh, very apropos because currently we are getting the 2024 version of the Hollywood Rock now that WrestleMania 40, at the time of this recording, WrestleMania 40 is 26 days away. And of course they're doing a uh, double main event from night one and night two where The Rock and Roman Reigns, the Travel Chief, the Bloodline will go up against an attack team on night one against Cody Rhodes. The winner of the 2023, uh, 2024 rather, well, 2023 and 2024 Royal Rumble, and also the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins on night one, and then if they get past the Bloodline, Cody Rhodes would then be able to go against the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, and I'm really really happy that I actually got this particular fun uh, not Funko but. Uh, elite because Ruthless Aggression was one of the most um, like I guess you could say half and half as far as like the wrestling fans were concerned because some of us who were getting a little older and like myself I was already in my 20s when the Ruthless Aggression came out and you know we were riding high on that uh, Attitude Era train and then once the Attitude Era stopped and, you know, we kind of like, it, there was a lot of people who didn't like the Ruthless Aggression era. And there was a lot of people who liked the Ruthless Aggression era. Uh, but I have been on record to say that The Rock has always been one of my favorite wrestlers ever, uh, next to Shawn Michaels. And we're getting this new version right now of this elite that you see here of the Hollywood Rock. So... Definitely want to be able to get uh, into this figure and talk more about it. So without further ado, folks, you know what time it is. We're going to do like we always do. We're going to let them breathe. The absolute best part about being here in Sacramento is in about an hour and a half, The Rock is going to leave Sacramento. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to start the unboxing here. Uh, I am so glad that I got this particular uh, rock because as I mentioned in the intro, we are getting the 2020 version of this particular version of the rock and it was known to many as Hollywood rock. So to give you a little backstory here. So as the um, Attitude Era was uh, coming to an end around 2000, 2001, the rock at that point was the, one of the hottest, if not the hottest, baby faces of the company and he had started to get into uh to movies he did the scorpion king which was a spin-off of the mummy series starring brendan fraser and um and also he was in the mummy return so that was his actually first movie role and he only had like you know a couple seconds in there but, you know, after The Mummy Returns, they say, hey, you know, we want to do The Scorpion King based on the character that you played in The Mummy Returns. He said, yes. So he started to get into movies, and it was The Blink, The Game Plan, The Rundown. Um, what else was he in? Uh, Walking Tall. And so he basically stopped wrestling. He didn't stop, but basically his dates were, with the WWE were uh, very shortened. He wasn't wrestling as much. And when he came back in 2001, when he was uh, at Hollywood Rock, and also again back in 2003. No, this was 2003 Rock, my bad. I'm getting the dates mixed up. 2001 is when he left the company to do The Mummy Returns and The Scorpion King, and then came back in 2003 because 
2003 is when they did WrestleMania 19. So right now you can see the the actual, and this is part of the Series 6, uh, Ruthless Aggression WWE Elite Collection. Uh, again, I just wanted to mention that. I did mention that in the intro. Um, so you can see on the left arm, it's pretty much the same tattoo you see him with now. But a lot of people who may not be familiar with The Rock's early days... It here, come on, there we go. So you can see the Brahma Bull tattoo that he had rocked for many, many years uh, in the WWE when he became a wrestler, and it's no longer there because he covered it up with some other type of a tattoo on his right arm. I don't know what the reason behind it uh, that he covered up the Brahma Bull because that was one of his names in the WWE was the Brahma Bull, but uh, when he came back rocking this like leather jacket and these leather pants with the Brahma Bull buckle there and started like doing these little rock, Night with the Rock concerts, which does come with kind of like a Honky Tonk Man-esque guitar. And the reason why it's taped up or basically, you know, with the little string, string ties is because it does break that you can use it to break hit somebody over the head with that. And, uh, you can see the break part of it on the back. So it's pretty cool because he, uh, during that time when he was doing the night uh, rock concerts, uh, he was busting people over the head with these guitars. So that comes with a guitar. It also comes with a mic. Of course, why would you not have a mic uh, with a rock figure? It does come with some extra hands. Now I did replace uh, the, this hand here for the right hand. You can see this. Hold on. There we go. So this was the original hand that he was wearing out of the box. I replaced it for that so he could hold the microphone. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, he does have not necessarily the bald head, but it was kind of like a little... That's when he was just starting to go bald. No more hair. Um... I mean, he was starting to get a receding hairline by that time anyway but still kind of jack he kind of um he even mentioned in a lot of his interviews that he got some really bad advice early on in his career when he started acting that he was just too jacked he needed it to slim down and as we noticed when he left in 2001 and then came into came back in 2003 and even in 2004 when he did that little stint in for wrestlemania 20 uh, he was slimmed down. He wasn't as big as he, he was. And this was around the time he uh, feuded with Stone Cold Steve Austin for their trilogy series of matches at WrestleMania. So they wrestled in WrestleMania 15, WrestleMania 17, or X7, and then WrestleMania 19. And <clears throat> he also feuded with uh, Hulk Hogan when he came back. Uh, he also feuded with Goldberg um, when he first debuted in the WWE in 2003. So at this point in time, you know, he was kind of like on his way out. Does the, the glasses are spot on. So I will say that, that the, the glasses are pretty cool. The articulation is good. He was a little stiff when I got him out of the out of the, the packaging, but his knees are good with the pinless knee joints, pinless elbow joints. The articulation, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I was gonna, I, I thought he didn't have the elite uh, articulation in his chest, but yeah. So, this actually, it, it should come off you know, the vest. I would just keep it on. I don't know why anybody would take it off, but it's pretty tight on there. All in all, a really great figure. So, now going back to what I said earlier, so it's so apropos that I was uh, unboxing this figure now because now he is kind of like the the Hollywood rock again now that he's joined the bloodline and you know there's been a lot of uh, you know controversy back and forth talk on the internet this, uh, with uh, amongst wrestling fans if you're not a wrestling fan you know you may take what I have to say and in the air one out the other but there are a lot of people that are saying that you know this is Totally, you can see it coming a mile away that on night one, um, they're going to lose against Cody Rhodes and, and Seth Rollins. Um, 
and that's going to make The Rock mad because it's probably going to be Roman's fault. And, or Roman basically hangs Rock out to dry for him to get beat. And then he's going to get angry with Roman. And then night two, he's going to cost Roman the title for Cody to win. And then they're going to feud uh, at SummerSlam. And then that, that's it. Because now the, the Rock, or Dwayne Johnson, he is now a part owner a uh, shareholder of TKE, or TKO, sorry, TKO uh, Endeavor. So they are now the ones that own the UFC and the WWE. So he's going around telling people that, you know, that he's the boss, that he owns WWE, which he's just a shareholder. He doesn't own, uh, he's not a, a prime shareholder. He doesn't own like 51% of the company or whatever. So, But... You know, it's a pretty cool time to, to be a fan now that The Rock is coming back. He hasn't wrestled yet. He will, but he's been doing a lot of dates as far as, like, uh, promos and stuff like that. Uh, did that little kickoff uh, press conference show where this whole thing started, uh, where he started to turn heel. And a lot of people are all for that. A lot of people are really, like, liking the fact that he's turning heel again. And um, he's wearing those freaking, you know, $500 shirts that he used to wear back in the day uh, when he was a heel initially. Um, but I cool, I, I cool. Um, I really, really like the cool figure that they made of Hollywood Rock in this Ruthless Aggression era. Now, <clears throat> what this uh, new series that after the Ruthless Aggression that's coming out now that I think it's already hitting stores is the Monday Night War uh, figure. So they are already coming out with another uh, series two, I believe, with a Attitude Era uh, rock, which is basically during the Monday Night Wars. I don't really like it. I'm gonna wait until it comes out before I even go into why I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that I got this. I'm, I wasn't a real big, guy for the ruthless aggression uh series i was just only getting the ones that i want so i might get that other john cena um ringside collectibles actually just came out with a line of the retro uh, elites that they first came out with back in the day when the elites were first uh after mattel took over the licensing from jack specific so keep an eye out for that because i definitely want to get some of those the dx the uh what was it? The DX, the uh, John Cena, and who else? Undertaker I was going to get? I think I was going to get that Undertaker. So, yeah, but be on the lookout there. I'm really, really happy that I have this because The Rock is one of my main dudes. Thank you so very much, guys, for being with me on this particular toy unboxing. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok. And also follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. Be with you on the next toy unboxing. Keep on.